Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to the old balcony, one of my favorite places to film. Got my old hat on because the last time you guys probably saw me, I was doing the car show. And I got a proper sunburn, man. I'm not kidding you. And I wasn't even out in it and it was sunny and you, you can still kind of feel it, you know, when the sun gets on it. So, uh, I'm usually super careful about those sunburns. I believe they're no joke, you know, so I did not intend to get it, but I got it. Anyways, I want to talk to you about something maybe you've heard of before, possibly never have, especially to folks that are outside of the U.S. It's the Lake Wobegon Syndrome. And basically, it's from a show that was usually on NPR, and it was called A Prairie Home Companion. It doesn't air now. And it was a bit that was by Garrison Keeler about a fictional town called Lake Wobegon, and he'd start every week, you know, well, here's the news from Lake Wobegon. It was a quiet week, or blah, blah, blah. And then he would end the bit, you know, he'd go on and on, and it would end the bit with Lake Wobegon, where all the women are strong, the men are good looking, and all the children are above average. <laughs> so, oh, for Christ's sake. So, the Lake Wobegon syndrome is something that will dawn on you all the time. Once you know about it, it hits me every single day when you're, especially when you're dealing with people in the public. Basically, it refers, <sighs> you can't make this stuff up. You know, I've heard about your pickup that you got at one o'clock today. Um, it looks like that we forgot one of your posts, your 24-pack of Mountain Dew and two of your um, half and half iced tea lemonade. Thank you. So, <laughs> this is live. This is a perfect example of the late Wobegon syndrome. <laughs> Kroger calling me, telling me they basically forgot like half the order. Ah, I do that curbside, and they forgot this, and that they're just saying, you know, mind you, I left the place at like 1.30. It's now 7.30, so it just dawned on them that a bunch of the stuff was not brought out. Okay, so the Lake Wobegon Syndrome is basically, the way I think of it is, people think they are smarter than they are. They overestimate their own abilities, and this is a perfect example of it, right? Somebody that packed the stuff, just wasn't paying attention, didn't care, threw the stuff in there, probably thinks he's or her is a genius, you know? Ah, nothing like a, a rant live, right? Trying to make a video. So you'll see it all the time when dealing with people. You know, everybody is going to tell you how to do this, how to do that. It doesn't matter that they don't know everything there is to know about it. It doesn't matter that they know less than you about it. Because in their mind, they know more than anybody. Just naturally, they know what to do. That is suffering from the Lake Wobegon Syndrome. It's funny, it's just so many people, and they've done surveys, but it's kind of like the yogi bear saying that he is smarter than the average bear. Like, they've surveyed drivers, and, you know, everybody surveyed thinks that they are above average. That's the thing. Everybody thinks they are above average. You run into it all the time. People just think they are brilliant. Ah, oh, this video is such a trade wreck. Maybe I'll just put it in. I'll just put it all in there. Let everybody see making the sausage, you know, the behind the scenes. This is what happens on an average video. You see like 30 seconds or a minute 30 or something, and you don't see the, the five minutes of horror and nightmare that comes into making it. So anyways, let me know if you've uh, run into people that feel that they are smarter than the average bear when you really didn't think they were. Let me know if you've seen people suffering from the Lake Wobegon Syndrome. I'm sure you will now, especially now that you know that there is a thing that it actually has a name. And I'm sure you will run into it more than you'll want to put that way so anyways let me know what you think interact in the comments sorry for such a train wreck of a video but then, you know maybe i suffer from it i should know my videos are worse than than the average but you know everybody has to i guess to get out here to make them must feel that you know you're at least sort of around the average <laughs> i don't know anyways the old guy appreciates your time and your comments or a thumbs up or any interaction or whatever you feel to do. Oh, 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 before I end, I must say thank you so much for everybody that hits me up at the Amazon store, goes on Amazon and uses that link and really helps the old guy out every month. I so much appreciate it. 
Thank you. And we'll see us.